Kevin Raber here, and I'm in downtown Carmel, Indiana. For those of you that don't know where Carmel, Indiana is, it's a little bit north of Indianapolis. It's a suburb. It's one of the number one places in America to live right now, voted in by a number of different magazines. We're on downtown Main Street, and uh, it's also known as the Carmel Art District. I want to talk to you a little bit about exhibiting your images in a gallery. We have a show going right now. It's a show for Indianapolis artists, and I'm one of them. Evan Laurie Gallery is a huge facility and one of the top galleries in the country. And it's got some remarkable art, and it's also one of those prestigious places that if you can have your art shown here, it's uh, really good. This is my second time I've had a show here. The person curating the show, and she's a very talented person, her name's Susan Brewer, wanted specific pieces so that the show kind of synchronized together, if I could say that. So she thought some of my ice uh, photographs would be really nice. And we went through my portfolio and a lot of my images, and we selected an iceberg from Greenland, an ice cave from Iceland, and uh, the ice wall and kind of an ice cap from the Svalbard region uh, in the polar circle. And I made those uh, very large, 44 by uh, 50 some odd inches, each of them. I print everything on an Epson 9900 and I work with Image Print, uh, which is my print driver. It's a rip. Uh, there's articles on our site about that also, as well as some videos. And then immediately went and had them framed by a local framer who did a bang up job for us. He worked with me to find the right frames for the big images, which was kind of a neutral gray frame. Uh, about two inches uh, with a tad of green flat color in it uh, rather than the museum black which is sometimes used and uh, they just framed out perfectly we put a mat around them with a little space around the edge of the photographs and I signed each of the prints signatures are very important don't forget sign all your work sign all your work sign all your work because if you go away it's the way the work is only worth something if your signature's on it. So, you know, anything that you keep that you're going to keep, make sure you sign framed or not. We used acrylic on the big prints just because the glasses were going to be way too heavy. Then we used a special archival glass on the smaller images. The three images that are small are about 15, 16 inches square, with the image inside them being around 12 inches. And uh, they really look nice. They're from a project I did called Being Square, Seeing Double. And one is of a plane in Iceland that you all know, the plane that crashed many years ago. One is of an uh, office building in Toronto, which is kind of, when you look at it, one of those like uh, psychiatry pictures where you, know, you look at it and you're supposed to say, what's it make me think of? And the other one is uh, Grand Central Station. A uh, real fun place to photograph, regardless of whether you're doing double exposure or not. So those are the three black and whites. The color ones we selected we wanted to go all with ice. We decided the theme there should be ice. So rather than do Southwest or a variety of images, I selected an iceberg from the Scoresbury Sound uh, workshop that I did in Greenland. And it's just a magnificent blue iceberg against the uh, sunrise. Uh, I selected the ice wall uh, from in Salvard with waterfalls coming off it. It's backlit. You can see the birds in uh, the, the water and in the sky. It's kind of a reference shot. And then I did an ice cave from Iceland, and uh, that was shot during one of our winter workshops a year or so ago in Iceland. And it's really kind of cool because you're actually underneath a 60-foot thick uh, glacier, and it just has this magnificent color and you know water running through it, and you can walk all the way back, sometimes you know hundreds of feet. So anyway, those are the, the images we selected, and uh, we priced them. A lot of the work in here is going for over $10,000. Uh, so these large prints will go for over 2,000 framed as they're presented and the smaller ones around 800 bucks. We're having a quite a nice Thursday night opening here. It's quite exciting, a lot of people coming in and seeing the work and uh, looking at it. But the advantage of going to a gallery like this is that the gallery is just not the show. The gallery is because the gallery owner has connections all over the world. It uh, goes to a lot of art fairs, so your work is exposed to a lot of high-end buyers. In addition to that, there's also a huge connection with the commercial decorator side of things. But that's part of the advantage of working with a gallery, is they, your work is not just the people that walk in and see it, it's also the people that they know that see it around the world. After the show comes down, it'll probably go in their collection and be taken to some art fairs, and the gallery owner is already talking to me about doing a whole show. Uh, which will be quite spectacular, but framed in a new method. And I don't want to go into that method now because it would be a whole other project. And if it does what I think it's going to be, uh, it will really make the, the images look stunning. And um, quite excited to maybe share that with you in a future video. 
I'm a photographer and I'm an artist. The way I got introduced to this gallery is in Indianapolis, and I believe probably in many places around the country, there is what's called First Fridays. Um, and I went to an exhibit here on a First Friday, and it was really nice, a lot of good paintings and sculpture. But I had asked the owner, I said, have you ever thought about putting photography in? So I said, let me show you a couple pieces of my work, see what you think. I'd just be curious to get some feedback. Now this is where the iPad comes in handy because I can carry the iPad around and I have a portfolio and I can like, wow, look at this, this, this. And you know, he, he picked three or four pieces that he liked. And when I walked out of that gallery that night, I actually took those pieces, selected them, and put his email address in and mailed them to him and said, it was really nice talking to you. I'd love the opportunity to sit down with you further and show you more of my photography and talk about how we possibly can work together. Well, it wasn't long thereafter that I was invited to my first show here and it was very successful. And we had big five foot by seven foot prints uh, all done with the phase one camera and it was really, really good and you know worked out really well for us. I pushed my work. I kind of said, hey, here it is. And I followed up and you know made a, a, a conscious effort to say, you know, I want you to see my work and I want you to understand what photography is. It's so different. There's only been two photographers that I know of that have shown their work here and it's a privilege to do that and it's kind of honor, honored to do that. But it's so nice to watch people come in and walk up to your images and look at them and you know, step five feet away and then step a little bit closer and a little bit closer and immerse themselves to look at the details and the shots. Take your portfolio, it could be on a book, could be on an iPad, whatever you want, but take it around and show some people what you do and you know, tell them, hey, have you thought about putting some of this on the wall? If you don't want to do a gallery, do a coffee shop or a restaurant or a barber shop, you know, any place. Barber shops are great because people got to sit there for a while and you know, put your images on the wall behind the mirror and as they're sitting there looking in the mirror, they're seeing your photography. Think of all the possibilities of ways that you can get your photography out there. And you know, don't forget to do social media and advertise and push and push and push, but you know, that's what I do. My passion is photography, simple as that. It's what I like to do, it's what I do all the time. You know, photographing and taking that picture is therapy for me. But making the print and then watching people enjoy your photography at a show like this puts it all together and you know you kind of sit back and go that's why I do it I hope you've enjoyed this video if you liked it don't forget to hit the subscribe button and there's a little bell down there you can uh, subscribe and be notified when uh, we do new videos and uh, look for some of the other stuff we're doing I'm Kevin Raber and I'll see you on the luminous landscape <laughs> <laughs>